Hey everybody, welcome to part 31 of our Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory on PC Any% Percent Game playthrough. We are still on our way through the Birth by Sleep portion of the game. This episode we will be uh, reliving our Birth by Sleep memories of the Radiant Garden slash Hollow Bastion world. Um, this should be another fairly simple, short episode. We've just got the, uh, the regular field and battle songs from birth from the birth by sleep game um missions look like they can be a little problematic here but i mean at this point i'm not afraid to skip a couple if i have to because we are well on well on our way to getting the uh, the 280 mission stars that we need to have all songs unlocked well except for whatever we need to open up the uh the end game doors all right now uh, let's go ahead and get into this Let me rephrase that. We are well on our way to having the 280 stars that we need to do the Secret Ring of Worlds when I want to do them, as far as uh, the, the world order of this Let's Play is concerned. Alright, back to World Tour, Radiant Garden, and just Radiant Garden. Uh, miss 14 times or fewer, hit all simultaneous targets, score 6,950,000 points. Or higher on proud. All right, so we're playing on playing on proud again. Let's see what happens. Now, you know what? This does not say we can't use a potion, so let's go ahead and use one. So we can always drop down to standard for the other two, but we got to get that score. All right, here we go. We did get the score, barely. Uh, let's see if we somehow got the other two. I very much doubt it. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, that sucks. I already know we missed one by, like, one point. Alright, Birth by Sleep's Radiant Garden is now available to play in track selection. All right. Uh, well, we got the score mission, which is the important thing. Um, let's drop down to standard for the other two. If I really have to, I'll drop down to beginner. I don't care. But we should be able to do this on standard.
All right, I believe we got them all. Excellent. All right, story scene number 98 from uh, Birth by Sleep, A Fragmentary Passage. We're collecting 21,400 rhythm points. All right, so... Ooh. So defeat 65% or more of aerial enemies on crowd mode. Um, dodge all ranged attacks by jumping. Okay, so we're probably going to do this one twice, so we'll have to, uh... Clear this, watch the cut scene, and go back and do uh, standard or be even beginner for the other two. Um, let's knock that stupid crowd mode mission out of the way right now. We got the potion there. Alright. 65% or more of aerial enemies. Yeah, alright. Let's see. Gonna follow the same uh, philosophy as usual and just shoot for the full chain, but <laughs> that's incredibly unlikely. Definitely didn't get the 65% or more HP without items, but hopefully we got the other two. Ooh, only a B? Ugh. Disgusting. Alright, Black Garden is available in track selection. Okay, so we got the two that we needed to be on proud mode for, and now we'll, um... We'll watch the flashback cutscene, and then we'll drop down to our uh, standard to clear uh, the other one. It turns out that when I was little, Aqua came to my rescue in Radiant Garden. Then she reunited with Terra and Ventus, but once again, their paths and hearts quickly diverged. Terra was guided by a light to a young boy, Riku. He bequeathed Riku his Keyblade. Meanwhile, Ventus learned he would become the Keyblade, and Master Ericus tried to seal him away. Determined to save his friend, Terra unleashed the power of darkness as he faced his own master. The Keyblade would form when pure light and pure darkness clashed. Ventus set out toward the Keyblade graveyard to bring all of this to an end. Alright, so we got 12 frost shards for clearing this world. 
Now, the flashback, uh, the flashback's kind of, uh, tricky there, because it says that Terra unleashed the power of darkness fighting Ericus, which is true. But, in case anybody missed it in Birth by Sleep, Terra did not strike down Ericus. Xehanort did. So Terra didn't completely cross over to the dark side. He didn't go, like, all Anakin Skywalker and just start killing people. Uh, alright. Anyway, let's go back and do um, that one other mission. We'll drop down to uh, standard mode for this one. Take the motion off. All right, we should be able to clear this one. If not, we'll drop up, just restart, and drop down to beginner, and we'll be done with this episode. Alright, so a full chain uh, reasonably means that we should have 100% of our HP remaining, and this mission should be nice and uh, completed. There we go. Alright, so that is the end of this ring, so as I've uh, said right along, now next episode we'll start going through uh, this ring of worlds, and then that will take us uh, through the, uh, well, I mean, we'll be doing this during one of the other worlds anyway, and then that'll take us into uh, this area here, and then this will be the end of the birth by sleep path, and then we'll pop over to dream drop, and we'll uh, take it from there. Alright, enemy collector level increased from 4 to 5, earned EXP increased by 2%. Again, we're not going to bother looking at all the, um, the cards and stuff that we picked up. We'll check all that out when we get to the end of the Birth by Sleep section. Um, anyway, Radiant Garden is complete, and not a, uh, not a bad episode. I don't, I don't, I don't feel the urge to yell and scream and throw stuff yet. So you know that's uh, pretty good. All right. Um, anyway, like I said, we'll come back next episode and start knocking out the other side of the birth by sleep path. As always, my friends, thank you for watching. Hope everyone's enjoying the game so far. And until next time, may your heart be your guiding key.